Hi, I'm Mona and I'm here in Costico studio and today I'm going to show you how to use our hot brush attachments that are handmade here in Rochester. They're made out of solid brass, the bristles are made of brass and so is the ferrule. They are held together by ceramic cement that withstands temperatures, especially also temperature changes. And today I'm going to show you how easy it is to use them. Here you see all the different shapes that we carry with Encostico's hot brushes. You see from left to right a flat, a bright flat, a bright angled brush and a angled brush. And on, of course on the other side you also see how we have a package where you can get it from your local retailer. We also carry those in different sizes. So don't feel that we limit you to different sizes and detailed work that you can do. For the hot brush, you will need a wood burning tool and a temperature regulator. You simply screw in the hot brush into your wood burning tool and then you will regulate the temperature with this device. You can start off with a low temperature to heat up the brush and then gradually see how high the temperature has to get, but not to burn the wax. The temperature regulator doesn't show temperatures, it only shows you different percentages. Hence you have to play around and see where you have to start off. Today I'm going to be working on a wood panel that is cradled. I also have here my hot plate that maintains a temperature of 175 degrees to keep the wax on a good temperature. I also have the hot sticks right here that I also will be using to paint with. Um, here are the different versions of the hot brushes that I will also be using in this painting today. Um, so for starting to paint, I will take a hot stick and simply melt the brush into the wax and will take up the wax paint very easily. Then I will just simply stroke over the surface and paint with the wax. Always go in one direction with the brush. Do not go against the bristles, otherwise you will get them bend and it's difficult to straighten them back up. If it happens that one of your bristles is bent, you can easily pull it to the side as such and clip it off at the ferrule so your brush is nice and clean again. Also what is important to mention is with the heat of the hot brush you do fuse the layers of the wax right away so you eliminate the need for a hot air gun. It's also very easy to pick up paint once it has hardened. If it's too thick as for I find it's too much texture there, you can simply pick it up with the brush and distribute it somewhere else on the painting. If you decide now to choose a new color, wipe off the excess paint off your brush as such and then I use the slick wax and dip it right into the liquid wax and once again wipe off the excess. It is fairly easy with the hot brush as the heat will maintain the temperature and the wax liquid so you get the colors out really easily. Once again you can use your hot stick and melt the brush right into the wax. If you, re if you decide to put a new color on top of the colors you have already, you just simply stroke over and once again it will fuse the colors without the need of a hot air gun. Also blending makes it very easy. The wax hardens right away as you lay it down, but you can, write also, you can also pick up the wax again and just blend the colors together. If you need to create different lines and thicknesses, you can also put your brush at a different angle. For example, like this. You can just create a really nice thin and controlled line. 
or even in a diagonal. I can create this. Once again, since I don't need these lines here right now, I can just go over and work it. To have it in such an angle, it will really help. For example, if you write on the edge of another color, you can cut in without accidentally painting over the surface you already have and do not want to destroy. You can also use the hot cakes on your hot plate to use some color. You simply dip your brush in. If it's not fully liquid yet, the heat of the brush will simply me melt the wax and you get some color on your brush. Now I use the size 2 angle brush which is really good for diagonal lines. But as you see, here at the end I had too much wax. But again I simply lift it off with the heat of the brush, go along my surface. Also, on this part, I will demonstrate some color mixing. I will heighten the value of this green. Again, I change the angle of the brush so I can pull a thin line. Now, to mix another color, I used the wax from a hot cake. I'm going to clean off first my brush, wipe off the excess. Since I want to change the value of the green, I will show you I will dip my brush into the titanium white and go over the surface of the wax. Even though this is a plain white line right now, if I go over it again and again, I will blend the wax, the different colors together to create a new color, this time a little lighter. The beauty of the hot brush is that it maintains the wax in a workable state as it stays hot at all times. However, with any other encaustic technique, the wax will harden right away when the brush will leave the wax. Another way of mixing is by actually mixing it right on the hot stick. I tend to do that here and there. Here I dip the brush into naphthol red and now I'm going to dip it into the darker color which is a phthalo green. And the hot brush picks up the phthalo green right away and basically mixes it with the red in the bristle brushes themselves. The hot brushes are not limited just to smooth surfaces like I am painting here right now. This is my personal style and preference, but you can be as creative as you like. You can create loads of thick textured surfaces. You can blend it and really have really smooth, even surfaces like I do. You can use it on your printmaking paper and forever projects with, that you plan to do with encaustic paints. I show you how to maintain your bristles safe when you're uh, going to store them. I just simply dip the cool brush into the slick wax and let the slick wax harden. This will protect your bristles when you put them into a box. So, and this is what I made using only Encaustico's hot bristle brushes. Um, it, you see they lend themselves to a variety of different techniques. I only used a very smooth surface. But of course you can be as creative as you like, you can build up different textures, um, almost make it sculptural as you like. The brush is very easy to use, it eliminates the need for a hot air gun and it's just a lot of fun. So be creative and, see what, and show us what you can do.